these are two Elite Trainer boxes of the brand new set, Paldean Fates. I'll be ripping them both of them open, and every time I get a hit from a pack, I'll have to transfer that exact Pokemon from my Pokemon Go account. And there are some really rare cards that we could pull from these. This might get painful. All right, let's rip the first one. Boom, we don't need any of that but the, but the code cards. Oh wait, it does come with a Mimikyu promo. This doesn't count as a hit. None of no, my rules. Also, Mimikyu just hasn't been brought to Pokemon Go for whatever reason, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Now, two boxes. <laughs> what can we find inside? There are... Oh, my God. There, wait. Oh, boy. There are a lot of Pokemon in this set, and a lot of very amazing Pokemon as well, including... Bro, there's no way that's what we start with, dude. Immediate pain? Couldn't even warm up into it? Well, if we log into my Pokemon Go account, we go Shiny and we go Noibat. No, this is Annoy Vern. Annoy Vern. Oh. So the annoying part about this Pokemon is that it's rare, okay? But if you look at Noibat, it takes 400 candy to evolve. I've got 6,300. Never mind. This was previously one of the rarest Shinies in Pokemon Go, and then it had a community day. Um, that's a good idea, not that one. So even though that, like, I have a bunch of these, it doesn't make it less painful, but this is a, this is a ridiculous thing to transfer, bro. There's no way, dude. Oh, what a start. What a start. Yeah, I love Pokemon. They made this game for kids. Why is it so torturous? Okay, as I was saying, um, there is a lot of different cards inside of this set, including six total different gold cards. My brother in Christ. I mean, there's a lot of shinies. The nice thing though, is that Bax Caliber doesn't exist in Pokemon Go, but don't worry, I have a plan. Every time I pull a shiny Pokemon that I don't have in my account, I've got to transfer a random shiny. <sighs> and we're starting with another one of the rarest that had a community day gibble. This whole video is gonna be pain. This is, <laughs> it's just gonna be pain. Well, hello, sorry for the break in today's video, but there's a mystery afoot. My girlfriend came up with the idea for this ad. And I went to a costume store today, and this is the best I could buy. But I needed it, because today in this video, we are sponsored by the mystery that's inside of this box. The Mystic Mystery Pack Box. Inside, you'll find five booster packs from the Sword and Shield in Scarlet and Violet eras. And one mysterious... Get it? Mysterious bonus pack, which range from a minimum guarantee white pack with Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield era packs inside, to a 1 in 25 gold pack that contains Wizards of the Coast booster packs including, yes of course, Sky Ridge. These are also the first print runs of the Mystic Mystery Pack boxes, hence the little first edition tag on the top. And there are not many left in stock. So check the link in the description or head to mysticrips.com to grab yours. Now, let's return to the pain that is the Paldean Fates Shiny Transfer Challenge. There's six different gold cards. You've got Wo Chen EX, Chai Yu EX, Chen Pao EX, Ting Lu EX, and Maridon and Karidon Gold. They're very hard to pull. I opened up 500 packs. I barely found any of them. Iron Treads, Iron Treads EX. What is this, a Dawn fan? I only have one single Dawn fan. Oh, it's from 2017, no. Do I have any more? Oh, I've got Fampy. Oh no, are these hundos? Is this a hundo? Okay. Fort Fampy, this is also, oh, I caught this in France. Oh my God, this is so cool. The memory of this one's cool. So I've got a couple of options here. I can transfer a sentimental one. I can transfer a Dawn Fan from 2017, which is a guaranteed lucky trade if I trade it. Um, I can do a 100% or a shiny. I'll be doing this one from 2017. That sucks. That's a good trade. There's also some amazing, what they're called, secret illustration rares, SIRs, in this set too. Definitely what we want to pull today. Definitely don't want to pull them at the same time because that's where the good ones are. There's eight total with my favorite, the best one being, in my opinion, the Mew SIR, the Bubble Mew, which looks ridiculous. But if we get that, I'm screwed because there's only one shiny Mew in Pokemon Go and it's... That would suck to have to transfer. Clive, guess what? <laughs> you can't transfer a trainer in Pokemon Go. The other SIRs include the Gardevoir EX, which looks, I mean, fantastic is an understatement. We've got Arvin, Clive, which we just pulled. It's got an SIR and it looks really cool. It's like very like, it looks like it's seen in a video game. It looks super, super sick. I love that one. Shiny Zatu, Palafin, double hit. No, it's a shiny Palafin. Do I have a shiny Zatu? Oh my God, I do. Oh, I have a bunch of the shinies. That's fine, okay. I mean, this is still so rare. <sighs> Shiny Zatu, goodbye. No, no. God, dude, this, this video's gonna kill my collection. Uh, Palafin, there is no Palafin in Pokemon Go, so we'll transfer a random Shiny instead. Electabuzz, all right, die. I keep hitting no, instinctively. Uh, then we have the Iono SIR, which is probably the best, one of the best trainer ones. Nimona, Penny, and of course, the Charizard, the shiny Charizard SIR, which 
Man, if we pull that today and have to transfer shiny Charizard, honestly, I won't even be mad. There's also three different shiny art rares or ARs, which we just pulled one, which is the Palafin. We also have the Palmy, which looks fantastic, and the Wug Trio, which is kind of a cute guy. As for full art shinies in this set, there are a total of 12, and they include Fortress, Toad School, Espartha, Alakazam, Mew, Gardevoir, Glamora, Pildea, and Claude Sire. We've got a Fortress, EX. We also have Noivern, which we pulled, Pidgeot, Wigglytuff, and Squawkabilly. Okay, big question here is, do we have a Fortress? Fortress. I do. Oh, no. Okay, I have a Shadow Fortress. I have Shiny Pineco. Where'd all my Fortress go? Okay, why did I save this? It's from 2020. I only have a Shadow. It's from a raid. This is probably very rare, and it's now dead. Rip. And the pain's not over. Because we have a second Elite Trainer box, because one simply is not enough. I will say, I did open up 500 packs of this set, and it was pretty freaking awesome. There's so many shinies, it's a really fun set to open. Hello, Mimikyu. And another reason why this set is so fun to open is because as for baby shinies, which is just like the half shiny card, there are 120 different ones, which is kind of ridiculous. Oh, lovely. It makes this transfer challenge video like a lot easier and a lot better because basically there's significantly less pain because, I'm sorry, it makes it harder and way harder and much more pain because because this is why, because you pull a lot of them. Shiny Silazar. Well, that doesn't exist in Pokemon Go, but you know what does? A shiny Zwellius. Dude. These shiny transfer challenge videos have become more fun because I'm kind of getting down to my more rare, cooler Pokemon because I've transferred all the lame ones. So, God, what a video. Okay. We'll keep going. Definitely have had fun though with Paldean Fates. Obviously Hidden Fates was the first set in the series, which is one of the best sets from the uh, Sun and Moon era, in my opinion. And then the Sword and Shield era got its uh, Fates set, which was Shining Fates, which kind of was a flop of a set, not gonna lie. There wasn't really a whole lot in there. Uh, there were some cool ones. The art was pretty cool. The Chars, oh God. Dang it. We got ourselves a full art Shiny Wigglytuff EX. Do I have a Shiny Wigglytuff? Let me see. Oh, I have tons of them. Oh, I have tons of them. Dude, I'm freaking rich. I'm wiggly rich. This doesn't even hurt. Unfavorite, 14. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. This is one that I use in PvP. <laughs> wait a second. I'll have to evolve one. Okay, let's evolve this. Basically, Shining Fates just wasn't that great of a set, and the big problem was the hugest hit, the Shiny Charizard, was like a reprint of uh, art in the past, so like, it wasn't like really new or anything super exciting. So this set, much more new, much more exciting. The art in it is ridiculous, especially these shiny SIRs. So a lot more fun. Wigglytuff, goodbye. Okay, that was still painful, but it was less painful. Any big shinies hurt the most. So a bit of fun time, uh, basically. Unless, let's go. Unless we pull, <laughs> if we pull a shiny Mew, bro, I won't know what to do because again, the problem with Pokemon Go is that only one shiny Mew has ever been released. So if we end up packing that card, especially Squawkabilly, there's no Squawkabilly in Pokemon Go. But if we end up pulling the Bubble Mew, I won't know what to do because if I look up Mew, I've got this one right here, and then I've got my one and only shiny Mew right here. It's only ever really been released once, so if I delete it, I don't know if I'll ever get it again. They might release it in like years from now, but <sighs> Palmy Shiny, hello there. I don't know what I would do with myself if I had to transfer that. Palmy's not in Pokemon Go, right? Palmy? Oh, we do have Palmy. Wait, okay, but the problem, two problems. One, this is, this is, a, or I have 100%. Two, it's not a shiny, which means we'll have to go to the graveyard and transfer a random shiny, Mr. Oshawa. This is, it's not, it, this is not a good shiny. We can all agree, all right? Totally fine. Okay, two more packs. We can hopefully survive this potential threat to my Mew collection, which would be god awful. Let me know in the comments how you're liking Paldean Fates. If you're having fun with the set, if you enjoy the cards in it, because I, Zatu, have absolutely loved it. Last pack right here. Whew. Hey, and if you're loving it too, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have, actually, we're almost at 150,000 subs here on Mystic Rips. It's crazy. We, like, tripled our sub count last year. So 2024, we're going for, I don't know, something crazy. Half a million. So please subscribe to help us get there. And last pack, we hit another Clive. But that means no shiny transfer. And for one of the coolest sets of the year, which could potentially be the most painful shiny transfer challenges, we are walking away. Only a couple amazing ones transferred out of two ETBs, including that Neuvern EX. How pretty. Well, hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.